a captivating cannabis lecture, kept an interested audience wrapped in excitement on Wednesday evening as the two-day regional cannabis symposium ended on a high note. Delivering the informative lecture was CEO of the St. Vincent Medicinal Cannabis Authority, Dr. Gerald Thompson. THC is best for sleep disorders and best for anorexia, nausea, but CBD is best for degenerative diseases, CNS, nerve damage. And a combination of CBD and THC may be good for immune reaction, mood disorders, it's best to go with CBD. Dr. Thompson fielded questions from an enthusiastic audience eager to engage the specialist. If the Rastafari have been using it for that spiritual aspect of it, it also provides us an opportunity for lots of research and development. Mm -hmm. And it is something that I'm um, just to point out something with, with what Brother Pancho was saying if the smoking. Yeah. Even the original Rastafari principle don't promote the smoking of cannabis through a paper. Yeah. The, the original principle is that the smoke has to go through water to get cooled off and cleaned off. And, mm -hmm. and when you look at the science, they call it the chalice. Mm -hmm. and, and then they call it the bong. Yeah. Right? So I think that there is lots of, of hope that as brothers and sisters we could still collaborate and look to see how we could create a, a good system that even the Rastafari would also have the right to prescribe, not just the pharmacist. Yes, Blessed. Interesting. Yes, eh, interesting stuff. You know, um, we, yeah. we, we face the same thing in, in St. Vincent in terms of the naturopaths and the herbalists. They're not on the list of saying that's why we're looking to include them but I think some of these things will take some time. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George also delivered comments relaying the medical community's concerns regarding St. Lucia's progress toward developing a cannabis industry. From a health perspective, we see the outcomes of that. We see it in our ER. We see it at the levels of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD that we register at the hospitals and our healthcare facilities. So I think it is extremely important as we implement, we ensure all of the various levels are in place to ensure that it is done efficiently. Two other things that I want to also add, we have to ensure with this that we have adequate public and patient education. Senior legal officer in the Ministry of Commerce, Dylan Norbert Inglis, says the comprehensive draft cannabis bill is factoring in all scenarios and concerns. We want to ensure that we, anybody who's going to be prescribing cannabis knows full well what it is that they're doing. And we accept, and I think all of us have accept that very little medical training is given in the current tutelage of persons in, in medicine. So we want to ensure that anybody who's going to get involved in prescribing cannabis would have gone through whether it be some course, some formal training, and been certified to allow for them to prescribe. St. Lucia's developing cannabis industry regulatory framework leverages the expertise of other Caribbean islands with established industries. This aims to harmonize regional legislation and ensure a robust cannabis bill for the island. Sola Jalfred, HTS News Force.